Okay, so you can see this bend I put in the wire here. Okay. So what that does is it's going to allow me to, I can, with a pair of pliers, shorten and lengthen this. Now, I've got to get a mark here and I'll put my Z bend in. You notice that I haven't put my elevator in yet. Okay, there's a reason. Now, I'm going to assume that I'm not going to want. Well, I just dialed it out, right? Oops. Oops. That mark's got to be way up here instead. Make sure you hold the elevator level when you go to make this bend. Right in front of that mark. Okay, so I'll make the Z bend on the wire and be right back. Okay, so put a bend in there. And the servo horn, as you can see, well, my elevator is nice and level. It is absolutely. My play is because that isn't tight. No play in that. So, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna trim that, take it off. Now you see, by not gluing everything first, you can test fit all your parts. Okay? So now that I've got this, trim this thing down to nice, right? Put it back in here. Put this back together, and then I'm going to turn it over, and um, <sighs> tighten on that other one. We're tightening on the control horn on the elevator. Remember, I'm not doing this together yet because I still have to lock tight this. Okay. So, let's turn this over, or no, I'm just going to turn it around and um, we'll do this up. Well, 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 let's see which way would this go, it's bigger size in the front, wow, my screws are so long. Okay, so let's start putting these in. My oh my. What do I think? Think of all these. Just hair helpful. If you drill out half of it to help them out get started. Because my oh my. They seem to be pretty pretty long threaded there. So I'm going to end up trimming them, I know it. Let's start with this inside one. Is it going to go? No. Come on. Oh, there I can feel it. Because they're so long, you have to do a little on each side. Otherwise it wants to twist. We don't want it to twist. There. Well, these are the screws they supplied, but remember, I didn't use their servo horn. I didn't like it. I don't think it's, uh, Wrong enough for one thing, but I didn't like it. How loose it was. It had huge holes in it. 
Okay. This is just about cinched down now. Let's see. A little bit more there. That's about it. We have to trim these off for sure on top. That's okay. I'm going to do that right now. Yes. How will I do that? Huh? I have to trim them off. Okay. That's a good plan. Because they have very strong steel. So I just trim them off. There we go. And look. Can you see? Next to no play in my elevator. Okay, so there. I got the elevator and the rudder. Okay, see this here? This is my long range antenna. It's going to come with the bottom and it's going to stick out the top here just a bit. So I got to drill a hole there for the antenna wire to come up. Just in front of the servo here, right there. And then I can finally seal up the bottom here because everything should be ready to go. So I'm going to drill a hole, do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, you can see right here, top of my antenna comes just through the wing there. And this is going to go at the bottom that much. Just a little bit, okay? A little more at the bottom than the top. But that's where all the antenna line I have coming from the receiver up there. So I'm going to use some goop. Glue that in place, and then when I put the bottom on, I'll make sure that I drill a hole to put it on the bottom. Look at that. Okay, I go through a lot of light poles. This one, I didn't abuse. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, I won't be using it anymore, let me tell you. But um, it had about five runs on it. In a um, 55 turn AX10. That was it. And look at how that two cell went. That 5.3 nanotech. You know, I have a lot of Hobby King batteries, but damn, I won't be buying any nanotechs anymore. Because I only got about five runs. Not even five runs out of the truck. And the battery is totally shot. I'm not going to charge. I'm not going to risk charging that or running that again by any short shape or means. That one's going straight in the I'm going to destroy you bucket. But I guess I got some extra nice leads here. Look at all, they're still brand new. Hardly ever been used. Okay, just thought I'd add that little note. And we'll be back as soon as the glue dries for my antenna.